We asked you on Instagram where we should go next, and you made your choice. Okay, so we're not really sure where we're gonna go next, so we want you to help us. We're either gonna go to... Berlin. Or Venice, you decide. So we found ourselves in Venice, the place you know as the most romantic city in the world, with gondolas floating along the canals. But have you ever really walked the streets? We have 12 hours here today, and my goal is to show you as much of the city as I can. Where are we? Venice, baby! Today we're in Venice, and we're gonna see what we can do in just 12 hours. Venice is one of those places where it's best just to get lost, because that's how you'll find the good stuff. Because of the way the city's laid out, if you keep walking, you'll manage to see a lot of what Venice has to offer. The place is a maze, so even though it became very touristy, you can walk through its narrow streets and find hidden gems and views that no one else is spoiling. The minute we arrived, I realized everything they said was true. This had to be the most beautiful city in the world. The emerald canals take the place of gray streets, the intricate designs of the Venetian architecture, hundreds of small bridges. There's a feeling you get when you're here, when everything you look at is beautiful. At every glance, you could frame a picture. Okay, so we're at Dolce Vita, a little old cafe in Venice. First stop. And we each got a croissant, and you get to customize it by putting your own marmalade or something else in it. So I did these, uh, a berry marmalade. Mm, we'll do that. Ooh, that one. Venice is a sinking city. Built on a lagoon, a lot has stayed the same since the 18th century. And the bridges, the wonky ones that pop up everywhere you walk. You feel Venice through your feet, because you can't walk more than a few meters without having to go up some steps, cross a bridge, and go back down again. It's impossible to capture Venice's beauty in words, so let me just show you. Venice is actually just a series of islands. It's a little over a hundred islands. So right now we're looking for a barcolo, where you get basically aperitivos, but it's Venice's version. To have a drink and a cheap meal, find a bar serving chiquetti. Chiquetti is Venice's answer for the more prevalent Italian aperitivo or Spain's tapas. They're small plates of food, usually eaten with a glass of wine. They're served at a Bacari, small local bars hidden all over Venice. They're cheap, ranging from about a euro to three euros. The chiquetti you find depends on the place. Some Bacari lean toward fried foods, while others specialize in fresh fish, meats, and cheeses. So we found that this is the Grand Canal. It's the bigger parts of the canal that goes all the way, all throughout Venice. But the bigger parts are wider, like this. Now we're going to Del Moro's. Opened in 2012, born to serve affordable, quick serve, fresh pasta that can be enjoyed on the go. Founded by chef Gabriel Del Moro, 
This unique concept offers a variety of made-to-order fresh pastas ranging from 7 to 10 euros. You choose the pasta, the type of sauce, and any extras you want to add on, such as parmesan, olives, chicken, chili flakes, and more. So we just went to Del Moro's pasta to go. I got pesto with chicken. And then I got the bolognese with mozzarella. So if you want something fast and cheap and really good, go to this place. We just came to an alleyway over here. We were just eating it on the street and it cost about 7 to 8 euros each. Which is pretty good in Venice. So a lot of the food that you're going to get in Venice if you're on a budget is going to be food that you get to go. And there's not a lot of seating or anything. So if you're not eating in a restaurant, you should eat by one of the canals like this. Another thing you should do is get a little wine or prosecco and enjoy it by the canal. Next we found ourselves at the most famous piazza in Venice, St. Mark's Square. It's a large piazza with St. Mark's Basilica as its centerpiece, the most renowned building in Venice. You can probably tell by the crowd Right now we're in St. Mark's Square. Venice has hundreds of canals that connect the various islands that make up the city, the largest of which is the Grand Canal. The canal is more like a river and it passes from one side of Venice to the other as it makes its way through the center. Hundreds of 13th century buildings line the banks of the canal serving as an important waterway in the city for hundreds of years. Venice really takes a lot out of you. You can do a lot of walking here and you don't even realize it because you've been walking around in a labyrinth. Venice is basically a big maze. All right. Okay, so one thing I wanted to do when we got here was have a meal next to the canal here. So finally we're doing it. We're at Ponte de Greci. Take a look at our view. cost anywhere from 80 to 120 euros for a 40 minute ride, so we chose to stick to land instead. Our 12 hours were over, but our experience was amazing. This has to be one of the most beautiful cities we've ever been. Next we hopped on the bus to... <laughs>